Well, the thing is that I think that every time that Diego and Gael call me to do whatever they want, I will be there. That's the most important because I've dressed them since they were kids and I've, we've been close. So I'm, I'm just so privileged to be around them. Stella, hola. How are you? I'm doing fine in you. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Oh my God. Again, Happy we're... to be here. I know. Again, we are talking about these new amazing costumes. Amazing. Figurino. <laughs> La ropa. <laughs> e todo. Gracias. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my God. How, like, uh, I... No, I, you know, I love your work, Cassandro, Los Freaks. Sí, Los Freaks. Me encantó. El oh, otro con, yes, lo otro. Me, me encantó. Me encantó. Yo, I, I, I spoke also with Adria and I told her this is one of the best movies, Her one of the, her best performances. And I love the way that the characters were dressed and I, I love the I, movie I so much. I would love to see more about the film. I know I think it's going to open soon. I really want to see that everybody sees it because I think it's such an important story to be told as well. And I had a wonderful time recreating all of uh, that period from Cuba, from the late 80s. And it's a, it's a, it's a harsh story, but it's also a story of freedom in many ways. Yeah, so, and, exactly. and it was a great experience. I mean, I, I love doing freakies. Yeah. So you did Cassandro. Now you're doing La Máquina. Again, working with Gael. Yes. <laughs> How was like the, what a, what like what attracted you to this project, and what was the approach for the costumes this time around? Well, the thing is that I think that every time that Diego and Gael call me to do whatever they want, I will be there. That's the most important because I've dressed them since they were kids and I've, we've been close. So I'm, I'm just so privileged to be around them. I admire them and love them dearly as actors, as artists and as, as family. I also consider them, you know, like very, very close. So it was very interesting to work with them, being together on screen, but also talking about this world of boxing, which I had never done before and which is quite interesting. And also all, all the all that involves, you know, it's not only the persona, the stage persona that I had to create for Gael, who is Esteban Osuna La Máquina, who's supposed to be Mexican, born in Jalisco. And um, and we had to give him a personality that that really was, you know, comfy clothes, wonderful, but at the same time very you know, shiny and, 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 um, and, and identifiable with, with his state, with his whole being of, a, of boxing, no, of a boxer who has had a lot of uh, success, but is now in a moment of, you know, a delicate moment, let's say, and then see, you know, the, the, the relationship with his manager, who's played by Diego, who's a very fashion forward man, is a metrosexual, is a guy who's really, you know, into fashion and into, you know, not makeup, but let's say uh, creams and like very um, conscious of his appearance all the time. So that was also a whole universe to to enter and just being with them. It was so much fun. Yeah. And, and the uh, Asa Gonzalez as well is like now you're like dressing a lot of women and, and, and I think dressing, like creating the costumes for a series is a little different from a movie, right? Because you have like, what was like the, the difference like for you? Well, I think I think the difference mainly is that you don't have the whole story when you do a series. And that can be, it's a, it's like a work on progress. It's also changing. We also had, you know, uh, um, different points of views that we had to attend, which normally in, in a film, you've got the story, you have the script. So you can sort of start from the beginning till the end in one chunk. While you're doing a series, it sort of also evolves during the, the shooting. So that was a little bit more, you know, it's, it's a little bit more complex, but I mean, nothing that, 
that were not willing to do. And um, of course, it was Asa, which I hadn't met. And uh, she's beautiful and she's great to work with. And, um, and it was very interesting because we had to do a very sensitive and intelligent and practical woman, woman of our times, which I liked very much. It's a very nice feminine character. It's not yeah. your, the stereotype of the maybe wife, you know, it's a more modern vision of, of a woman that's close to this world of boxing, which is a little, a little more, I wouldn't say macho, but it's more masculine intended in 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 all of its uh, source and then it, it, it was also very interesting working with uh, lucia mendez who's who's a legend who plays um diego's mom and um i was a little bit intimidated you know <laughs> because she's like such a big icon and she is so fabulous so beautiful and i can call her now my good friend so for me it was just a blast yeah what was like your main inspiration for especially for for the women's characters the costume what was your main inspiration well for 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 Ace, it was like playing her all you know like very um let's say neutrals all all the time in the colors uh staying away from prints she doesn't need to be loud she's more like classic and then i mean anything you put on asa looks fabulous so that was like kind of very very easy it was just a matter of uh using like a lot of wool um you know a lot of leather of very rich materials but um very classic and very elegant that was my inspiration for her and uh and we i think we nailed it pretty good while for lucia it's a, it's a woman that's more She's more, let's say, flashy. She's a woman of wealth and she's got, you know, the possibilities of traveling and buying whatever she wants. She's more into brands, you know, a little bit more onto designer clothes. So we kind of had to, to go that way. That's amazing. Uh, Maristela, uh, this is the time that I have with you. I just want to thank you so much for your time and keep bringing all these amazing projects. I'm always like over there, like following you and see your nuances on the, the terms like each movie is different like silent night is different from los frikis that's different from la machina and it, it's amazing it's amazing all the work that you do thank, <laughs> thank you, you so Hannah, thank you for having me it's so good of to course see you. muchas gracias. gracias we see each other i don't know soon claro que know. Sí. nos veremos we will bye bye okay. thank bye. you thank if you like to support or continue to support journal camera don't forget to subscribe like Comment and share the videos.